In this video, I want to highlight a uh, feature of ChatGPT that many people are not even aware of, and those that are aware of it are not using it to its fullest capability. And that is uh, ChatGPT's scheduled tasks. Now, the way to think about a scheduled task is quite simple. Just think about a prompt that you might write in ChatGPT, but you're going to run it in the future, either uh, one single time, I'm going to run this in 30 days, or on a recurring basis, I'm going to run this on the first of every month, or I'm going to run this every Friday. It's as simple as that. So how do you get to tasks? Well, the easiest way is just by going to your avatar in the ChatGPT web interface, and then going to tasks, which you will see uh, here. And then when you click on that, if you've already created a task, you will see this screen. If you've not created a task before, you'll see a simple web uh, welcome screen where it will invite you to create your first task. So what is a task? Well, let's click on this one here and you'll see. We've got a name. This one is a monthly alert for the Koala tech stack, which is a, a product that I run. We've got some instructions, which is essentially your prompt. And I'm going to show you that in a bit more detail in a minute. And then we have a schedule. I want to run this monthly on the first of each month at 9 a.m. And I can set up either this is a one off daily, weekly, monthly, annually, or I can set up a custom schedule where I've got specific dates uh, that I want this uh, to run. So what is the instructions and what kinds of things should I be thinking about uh, using uh, ChatGPT's scheduled tasks for? Well, let me just dive over here. Um, the temptation when you think about this is for something really simple. Go, oh, OK, just remind me um, uh, every Monday morning that I've got a meeting at 9 a.m. Uh, with my manager. And so remind me about that. Well, you've got a phone. A phone can do reminders. You've got your calendar. Your calendar can do reminders. That is not a great use uh, for um, uh, this scheduled tasks. Instead, you want to think about something that really builds on the capabilities of uh, AI. So here are some examples. Help me plan my next week. So that could run on every Friday or my next month or quarter. Um, help me review this week or month or quarter um, using uh, a little bit of reflection and looking backwards. Um, at the start of every week, uh, help me role play every Monday morning so that I can get into the, uh, into the frame of mind for the work that I'm going to do. Um, every Friday, give a coaching session to me where I can talk through some of the things that are, are top of mind for me. Uh, think about comparing different things. So maybe you work in a sales role and uh, you want to compare company A to company B and maybe whether company A or B fit into your ideal customer profile. Um, you may be looking after a specific uh, set of accounts. Uh, can you summarize the investor updates for these 10 companies uh, over the past uh, month or so on? So definitely think about more creative ways that can really build on uh, the, uh, the capabilities of AI rather than just using it as a reminder service. So let's take a look at what I mean by that in, as a worked example. So I run a platform called Koala. Uh, Koala is built on a tech stack of different vendors. And these vendors are continually updating uh, their, uh, their product. And uh, they have ongoing updates and patches and bug fixes. And for me, as the product owner, it's a challenge to stay on top of all of these. So what I want on the month, uh, on the first of every month is for this uh, scheduled task to run. So the objective, you are a technical assistant that monitors updates to the Koala products core tech stack. Your goal is to summarize recent updates from key platform vendors and libraries, highlight breaking changes, new features worth adopting, and any deprecations or security issues that may require attention. And then here are some instructions. This prompt runs on the monthly schedule. You should gather and summarize updates off these different products. Assume that the current version that we're on is the latest one as of the previous month. So we're just looking at any new updates in the last uh, 30 days. And then this is the, the format that I want back. Uh, this uh, should be a written summary. And then we get into a bit more detail of the kind of analysis that I want um, uh, ChatGPT's scheduled task to run, uh, the document template that I want it to produce for me, some examples of what good looks like. 
and some exceptions. If no updates are found for the platform, you know, this is what you should uh, let me know. And then a bit about the user engagement. So quite a detailed prompt. And this is not something that I could just put into Google News Alerts, um, you know, just put in Google News Alert for Next.js and I'm going to get some updates. This is actually asking uh, ChatGPT to go and do some work. And so having drafted that detailed prompt of what I want to happen uh, on the first of every month, I, I've simply dropped that into my task here. And so um, here is that full uh, instructions and that will run on the start of every month. And whilst this isn't a uh, an actual task, I've just run it uh, so that you can get a view for what that would look like. I, you know, I want this table with the platforms, the latest version, any recent update and any recommended up action that I should take. And this is what I want. Fantastic uh, for me to get that each week. So just to wrap up, some things uh, to remember when you're rolling out your first scheduled tasks. There are two ways to access. Um, I've shown you accessing from tasks in the main menu. You can also, if you're using one of these two models, either O3 or O4 mini, you can just say, create a task for me on the first of each month and uh, to do this, and it will create that task on your behalf. The reason why I haven't shown you that is because only a few weeks ago, it was a different model that did that. And so I wouldn't get too fixated on which model is the best place to start. I would go to the tasks uh, uh, icon in the main menu. Um, it's also worth noting that even if you do start your task from O3 or O4 mini, those are not the models that will run your task. It is some kind of variant of 4.0, which is the most common uh, model that is running at those tasks, but it does have access to the web. So uh, for certain requests, like the one that I've just run there, the web search is uh, hugely important to, to getting the accuracy. And then the final thing I would mention is that you've got a limit of 10 uh, active tasks at any one time. So once you get to 10 in this list, uh, when you try and add the 11th, you're going to see an error. You're going to have to uh, delete uh, one or pause it. So there we go. Schedule task. Uh, really have a think through uh, for yourself, um, uh, for your team, for your company, the kinds of things that you can set ChatGPT up for uh, to run on a, a weekly, monthly, quarterly basis to run this uh, out there in the future and bring you notifications uh, when uh, they have run. Look forward to hearing what you get up to with it.